Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about the three top complaints that are being reported in the Civic Tarpar forums under the issue repairs and TSBs category. In the last video, I talked about the infamous second gear grind. Um, I'll go over that a little bit more, but there are two other things that are receiving the most replies and views on the forums. Number two is the Civic Type R overheating, and three is the electric parking brake problem. So let's go into that. So the uh, second gear crunch is uh, being reported by some owners uh, when the, the driver is shifting from second gear into third gear. And in some cases, folks are reporting a downshift lockout as well. Um, as the YouTubers uh, that I discussed before, Savage Geese and Flying Gato have reported, uh, there's some recommendations coming through as to how you should manage the situation. In my previous video, I talked about record keeping, reporting it to your dealer, keeping a, uh, a paper trail about the issue and what they're doing and so forth. Make sure they can replicate the issue. Uh, but other things that you can be doing is make sure we rule out other things that could be driver related because that's the first thing that dealers may want to rule out as well as Honda. So as we all know, with many transmissions, especially with Honda transmissions, you get a bit of, a of a notchiness when you're shifting, especially uh, when the transmission is closed. It's cold. So make sure that um, you are taking the fluids to the proper optimal temperature, warming them up for 15 minutes or so. And, and while you're going through the warm up period, make sure that you're, t you're shifting a little bit slower, uh, especially if you're getting any grinding and ensuring that you're fully depressing the clutch pedal before shifting gears, okay? Uh, most people are not thinking about that as often when they're just simply pressing the pedal and shifting the gear, but make sure you, you, you're fully depressing it and shifting smoothly and slowly on the first 15, 20 minutes. So rule that out. Uh, also, you wanna be documenting what's happening. So um, take a video camera, take a GoPro, uh, attach it to your car, and see if you can replicate the conditions where the grinding is happening. That will help you when you take the car to the dealership for analysis. So make sure you're doing that, make sure you're allowing the the car to warm up and so and so forth and that you're documenting as much as possible. Take a look at my um, last video uh, with more details as to what you need to do. The second uh, on the list is the Civic Type R overheating problems. Uh, this is something that has been reported by some of the enthusiasts that are tracking the car. Um, uh, Folks like Evasive Motorsports and some other track day uh, enthusiasts are doing that as well. Uh, Evasive actually um, did some pretty detailed testing where they measured the temperature of the oil, um, how high the oil temperatures was getting to, and in some cases was getting as high as 270 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And they were actually experimenting and experiencing putting an oil cooler uh, into the automobile to see if that would help and that lowered the temperature significantly uh, peaking at 254 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So what what's the takeaway from there is that from their perspective I believe is that an oil cooler is going to be a requirement it appears if you're consistently tracking a car because operating oil temperatures at 270 degrees Fahrenheit is is really a dangerous um, range to be in. Uh, so some track day folks are experiencing that. Uh, another um, posting on Civic uh, X um, has also provided a phone number to call if you're experiencing the problem. This particular gentleman called Honda North America, told them that he was concerned about the problem and their response is that they've, they're taking every technical concern and forwarding it on to their engineers and prioritizing as appropriate. So uh, if you are experiencing some overheating problems on the track, understanding that this car is being advertised as a track ready machine, uh, make sure you are reporting that to Honda as appropriate. Uh, but I think with the 
with the gear grinding issue that has seen that seems to be overshadowing the other stuff that's coming up now i don't know how extensive these issues are this is simply like i said what are the top issues being reported on the forums and by that i mean getting the most views and getting the most replies something else that's coming up that hasn't gotten a lot of attention is a parking brake problem i, I guess the civic top r has a electric parking brake um, and some folks are experiencing a problem with that. Uh, one of the first postings there on the, on the forum said that the, uh, they're having an issue and, um, the brake light seems to be flashing and the brake system, uh, is lit up yellow and they can't move the car. So in some instances, the car is getting locked up, uh, and the parking brake is not disengaging. Um, and this particular poster said that it took about five five minutes to get the parking brake to disengage, and there are about three pages of other folks who are either commenting or experiencing the problem themselves. So some of these are rules of and issues that you may experience as a as a uh, with the first year production of a new generation. And I think the Civic Type Car is getting so much hype, so much attention. It's such a capable car. Great driving experience. It's fun to drive. It is capable. It is unprecedented to get in the U.S. And naturally, this car is going to get a lot more criticism when things are not going perfectly. So I want to make sure that everyone is aware that these things do not mean that uh, whatever is happening out there is uh, is happened uh, with the most of Type R owners. I think just like with anything that you buy and any product. Usually you're hearing from the people who are not having a good experience and people who are experiencing uh, problems with their specific product. So I think if you are a Type R owner, make sure you are reading the forums, make sure you're documenting anything that you're experiencing. Look at the forums to see if there are any others, uh, other owners who are experiencing the same and make sure you're reporting it to the dealership. And I would personally... If I was buying a Type R today, I, I already said in my other video, I would hold um, until there is some resolution or some type of TSB from Honda, uh, especially with the gear grounding issue. But that's a personal decision. Um, I, I don't think that um, I would have any concern about Honda um, um, standing by the product and, and eventually coming out with a, some type of a fix. But you know, considering the expense and the cost of this car, and as many of you know, I own an S2000, so I think that car is, for me, uh, irreplaceable, and it's something that has to stay in the stable, even if I uh, get a Type R eventually. So um, so there you go. The three top things that are being reported or issues uh, on the Civic X forums for you to be aware of if you're buying a Type R or if you currently have a Type R for you to be close to and monitor and also report to your dealership as appropriate. All right, folks, we'll talk to you next time.